Hi everyone. Today I thought we'd make a gorgeous blue and ivory card using the Anna Griffin blanket fold paper from the kit. This was available a long time ago but it's very easy if you want to make your own if you haven't got the kit. Simply score one piece of paper that's 12 inches long into one inch segments and quarter of an inch segments. So it's an inch, then quarter of an inch, an inch, quarter of an inch. And then it's mountain and valley fold to be able to get a fold um, like that, basically. So what I've done is I've done one strip of 12 inches and it's approximately an inch and a half wide. And I've actually scallop punched at the edges as well. So I haven't got straight edges. The next thing I'm going to use is a card layer for an 8 inch card blank and this is an ivory layer and we're going to be using an ivory card as well. So the first thing that I'm going to need is some lace and I've cut a piece of lace that's scalloped at both sides and the reason why I'm working on a card base rather than on the actual card blank is so that I can trim everything to fit because as you'll find there's quite a few different bits and pieces that we're going to be putting on our card and I want to be able to trim them to fit. So the first thing we're going to add is our ribbon and I'm going to add it the right way around and I'm just going to add a little bit of glue on the back and I'm going to use silicone glue for this and I'm just going to run it the glue down the centre just so that the actual folded blanket paper that we put on in the middle will cover any glue anyway. So that looks to be about centre to me like so wipe my glue fingers. So next I'm going to add the border strip across the middle as well. I've already added 3D foam on the back of it but I've let, added two layers instead of one because I want the height between each fold so that you can still see it, that it's a blanket fold. So I'll just peel the last bit off and because I've put foam on it and it's actually going onto lace I'm just going to add a little bit of wet glue on top of the foam because sometimes it's difficult for it to attach to and the foam pad might not stick to the, to the lace. So I'm going to try and get that kind of central I will be trimming it, so let's push that together like so, and that's roughly there, like that. Next, what I've done is I've die cut in matching coloured paper some branches. Now as far as I know this is the Marianne die. I will check it and I'll put it in the description and I'm just going to add a little bit of glue on the back of parts of the branches and I'm going to place one to one edge. I'm going to place one at the other side like so just add some glue turn that round and then I've got one for the center like so add glue to this this is the sticks to PVA glue and it dries clear but we've made some little blossoms to go over our branches so if you're worried about seeing any of the glue we can cover over oops, those bits with our blossom 
so you won't see it. So I just want to hold that down so it takes hold like so because we're going to trim the edges as well when we're finished so I've also cut two more branches for the bottom of the card as well and we'll just pop those on like so and the last one for the other side now this is actually a really easy card, easy and fast, but when you're finished it'll look like you've spent quite a lot of time over it, but believe me, you haven't, it's all in the die cutting and the little blossoms. So what I've done is I've made some tiny blossoms with matching pearl drops in the centre to match the paper. And now all I'm literally going to do is add the pearl drops in different places on the branches. Now this will be the longest part and probably the fiddliest. fiddliest. Let's just keep going with this. And you can add as many or as few as you like. Oh, picked up two there. Just press that down. You can add different flowers if you don't want to add the blossom. I personally, I quite like the blossom and I like a lot of the blossom because I think it makes it look as though you've taken so much time over it when in fact you've punched or die cut a few flowers and you've had pearl drops in the centre left them to dry and added them um, it's not a long process to make the flowers the drying process will probably take longer and then putting them on but I do like my pearl drops in my flowers. I think that it finishes them off. It just gives a little hint of metallic in this case. Because I've used the tonic Neptune pearls for the centres. So you could keep going with your blossom. And you could make sure if your branches are lifting because of not enough glue pop a piece of blossom over them like so and you can go all the way around and you obviously you'll be able to spend a lot more time on it than than I have but I'm rushing now so that we can see the finished card so I'll just add a little bit more there and we have another one at the top there, like so, and another one over there. So I think it's the time of knowing when to stop as well. So one more there. And you see how I'm going at the side of the branches and then the glue from the blossom will hold the branch. And one more there. And I think we're done. So the last thing that I've got for the card before we trim it is I've got a sentiment. Happy birthday to my friend. Now it's a peel off sticker from Anna Griffin's All Occasion Stickers. And because we've put 3D foam at the back of our border, I'm just going to pop it in the centre, like so. So now we can cut away the edges 
of the card and the lace that's um, hanging over the edges and we can just simply snip and go through the border as well and the branches turn it over for this branch like so get the end of that one and then do the other side do the two branches first and the lace and through the border so now we've trimmed our card front up so we can take our card base and we can attach the card front to it like so just add a little bit of wet glue so I'm using the sticks to glue this and it's one glue that I found that doesn't wrinkle your paper as it dries so I'll just pop that onto our card like so and press it down there we go and there we go finished and I think you'll agree that is a really pretty simple card that looks as though you've taken a lot of time and trouble over all because you've used the lace and the blanket folded border strip in the middle. I'd like to thank you very much for watching and see you next time.